Well, hello, world changers. Miss McCarthy here with your Florida Fast Math freebie of the week. I've created this weekly math video series to help you feel calm and confident when it's time to throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math Assessment. Each week, we'll practice a specific question type. Now, these videos, they're short, they're sweet, and they are to the point. And at the end of this video, I'll show you where you can access tons of math videos to help make math your jam too. Our focus this week is drum roll. Multiple choice, y'all. Multiple choice. All right, let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach ya. All right, fourth grade, here is your problem this week. So go ahead and pause the video, try this one on your own first, and then when you're ready to come on back and check your work, press play and come on back and check your work. I'll see you soon. Welcome back fourth grade, let's go over this one. So it says that Liam goes to the ice cream shop and buys a cone for $4.29 and a milkshake for $6.89. If he pays with a $20 bill, how much change does Liam get back? So to do this, I'm gonna tackle that first sentence. So first he buys a cone, I'm gonna kind of draw this out, a little cone for four dollars and 29 cents and a little milkshake for six dollars and 89 cents so we need to take those two amounts and join them together first really we're adding those together and then we can subtract that from twenty dollars you could also start with your twenty dollar bill and subtract each item so the 4.29 for the cone and the six dollars and 89 cents for the ice cream i'm sorry for the milkshake and then you could also get your total but what i'm going to do first is add these two amounts together so four dollars and 29 cents plus six dollars and 89 cents nine plus nine is 18 woo what's high up here nice landing dude two plus eight equals 10 plus one would be 11. Whoa, it's high up here, nice landing. Dude, don't forget to drop down your decimal here when we add or subtract with decimals. We need to line them up and then drop our decimal down. And then we have six plus four equals 10 plus one would be 11. So we have $11.18, which is an answer choice. And if I were to stop there and select that one, I would be wrong because this is the amount that it would cost for the cone and for the milkshake. But now we need to subtract it from what? From the $20, okay? So $20 can be written like this. Subtract our amount of $11.18. That's the cost of the cone and the milkshake. And we have quite a few zeros here, so I'm gonna go ahead and regroup. Do, do, do. Just like that. So 10 minus 8 is what? 2. 9 minus 1 is 8. Remember to bring down that decimal. 9 minus 1 is 7. Nope, it's not 7, it's 8. Silly me. And 1 minus 1 is 0. So we have $8.82 in change. So the correct answer is right here. A, Liam receives $8.82 in change. Go ahead and pause the video to jot down any notes that you still need to make and when you're ready to continue, press play. Now here's a message for the grown-ups in your life. If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. So make sure that you check out the links somewhere around this video. Also, before we go, let me remind you that Practice is not something we do once we're good. It's the one thing we do that makes us good. So if you want to get better, stronger, or more confident with anything, you've got to make intentional time to practice and throw down your very best effort each and every time. I believe in you all, but the magic and the power really happens when you start to believe in yourselves. And with that, I'll see you next time, world changers.